Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, today is Tuesday. Today is the 30th of April, 20 and 24. And again, here we are by the grace of God. Amen. Giving God all praise, honor, and glory. Why? because this is the day which the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He founded it. He established it. He established it. He founded it. It all belongs to him. So it's just up to you and I to get with the program. Not sure what's going on on the left side of this head here, but I guess you say, well, what's going on with the right side? Beloved, we are here this morning. So I shared with you on yesterday that um, I don't even want to use the word colleague. I'm going to say my friend, Minister Carolyn Olive. Uh, I worked overtime in the office space on Saturday um, swing shift. And so we were blessed to see one another. Well, um, on Facebook, she well she has this podcast right so I view it on Facebook Carolyn Olive you all look her up okay so she talked yesterday or the, or the 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 podcast the teaching that I saw on yesterday that I viewed on my way into work caught up caught up I don't know no rights and we all want to be caught up. We hear the word caught up or the phrase caught up and we get excited. Beloved, but she had a point. She asked a question. She said, how is it that it's like we want to be caught up with Jesus. We want to be caught up to meet him in the air. We want to be caught up. But in order to be caught up with him then, Beloved, we got to be caught up with him now. I know we work. I know we go to school. I know we have our families. We have those things that we do. But if we spend such little time with God now, down here, while we are tabernacling alone, what, what makes us think that we're going to be caught up with him there. I, I know, I know, I know someone is saying, well, I'm saved. So since I'm saved, I'm going to be with Jesus. Okay. Beloved, when we are in relationships, we come to know the individual. We go to dinner. We talk on the phone. We spend time together. Um, we might go out for coffee. We might meet up for breakfast. The point is we spend time with one another getting to know that individual. Then that lets us know, okay, I can do this. I can do this, right? You're not just thrust into it. Well, maybe sometime we be fast and we do. Okay, stay focused. Focus, RJ. Focus, RJ. Beloved, but in order to be caught up, we, we need to be caught up here and now. Here and now, I promise to... Okay, I'm sorry. Beloved, we must be caught up now. We must take some time to spend time with the Father now. I get it. We get excited of being caught up in the rapture. We get excited. Those who died in Christ are going to rise first. For those who remain, we're going to be changed, beloved. And Jesus is going to return in someone's lifetime. Now, we don't know if it's going to be our lifetime, but he's coming back in someone's lifetime. And we look forward to that day as children of God beloved but what we must do we must work to be caught up now we are so caught up in so many things I can't tell you since Netflix I have heard people say oh I'm all caught up 
I, I watched all of oh, this past weekend. I watched seasons one, two, and three. So now come Sunday or come Monday when season four starts, ooh, I'm going to be ready because I'm all caught up. Oh my goodness, I, I I have some work to do. Vacation is coming up. I can't leave. Oh, I'm all caught up with all my assignments. So now I can go on my vacation and not be worried about, oh, ooh, I am all caught up. I had so many chores to do. These last two weeks were so busy. Oh, but I, I'm all caught up. And we will cause allow ourselves to be caught up with things of this life. Things that as... Solomon said, vanity, vanity, all is vanity. If it has nothing to do with our soul, if it has nothing to do with the kingdom of God, beloved, it's all vanity. Beauty, guess what? It fades. Beloved, we want to be caught up, but we must be caught up now. Let us get caught up now in the things of God. Now, keeping our mind on things eternal, caught up now when it comes to worshiping and serving and praising God. Let's get caught up in that now. Beloved, and then when we're there with Jesus, guess what? We're going to have a great time, a good time. But when we take the time to know him now, we come to know him now how he operates. Although, he ain't going to tell us everything. But as we're learning how he operates, what he expects from us by studying his word, beloved, then we learn how we're supposed to act and react and be. And then we can be good children. So I went to Jacques in the Box, my favorite restaurant, and I got a large cup of coffee. Senior discount, of course. Y'all laughing, but 50 cent, that go a long way. And I'm not talking about 50 cent the rapper, but um, that 50 cent discount on the coffee. Sharon, what, you don't have 50 cent? Some days I don't be having 50 cent. Hmm beloved but it's a senior discount guess what I earned it all right so I'm gonna get my breakfast I have my biscuits I fried a few strips of bacon and then in about 40 minutes 40 minutes I'm going to make my way upstairs and I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar and if it be the Lord's will we'll meet again on when on tomorrow from where from my front seat this your girl Sharon I did not do sister Car minister Carolyn Olive's post justice beloved find her on Facebook Carolyn Olive amen you'll be blessed glad that you did this your girl Sharon I'm out y'all do says